Hi, in this problem we have a 2 million gram or 2000 kilogram. So that is a, our mass. This is the mass of the car. This mass is being towed by a winch. If the winch exerts a force, or in other words, a force on the cable that causes tension in the cable, or in other words, this is a force as a function of position equal to 100 times S plus 1 on the cable, where S is the displacement of the car in meters. Determine the speed of the car when uh, the position S equal 10 meter. Starting from rest, neglect rolling resistance of the car. So here S is 10. And here we're told to neglect the rolling resistance of the car. So that means that we're not considering the friction. So what are we asked in this problem? We are asked to find the velocity as a function of position when the velocity, the position is at 10 meters. We want to know what is the value. So this is what we want to find. Next, we want to draw the free body diagram. And next thing we will uh, draw our axis. So the horizontal axis will be parallel to the surface and the vertical axis will be perpendicular to the surface. And the x direction, the positive x and x direction is in, uh, will be um, the direction where the vehicle or the car is moving. And the, and the car is moving to the right because the winch is moving the car to the right. And here we will represent the vehicle as a particle. Now, we know that the vehicle have a weight because of its mass. And the, um, the, there is a normal force, which, which is between the surface of the road and the vehicle. And here we are told to neglect rolling resistance of the car so so here we are not considering the friction but we are given the tension in the cable that is caused by the uh, winch that is m pulling the car to the right and this is tens tension as a position of function is equal to so this is a variable force Uh, now there is no movement in the x in the y direction, and here we're not considering the uh, resistant in the uh, sorry the friction. So we will not solve for the sum of the forces in the y direction. So here we will go immediately and solve for the sum of the forces in the x direction. So the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. So the sum of the forces, the, the, we have the force due, uh, due to the cable tension uh, going to the right, positive, 100, position plus 1, equal to uh, the, the, uh, the mass of the vehicle, uh, we said 2 million, so it will be 1, 2, 3 kilogram. So this is 2,000 kilogram times acceleration in the x direction. Next, so, so, so here we can solve for the acceleration in the x direction. So it will be what? 100, so 2,000 will go to the other side of the equation by division. So it will be 100 divided by 2,000. 1, 2, 3 that will be z 0 0.05 0 0.05 s plus 1 equal acceleration in the x direction 
All right. Or in other words, we can say that this is acceleration as a position of function equal to 0 0.05 s plus 1. All right. So here we want to uh, find the velocity as a position of, uh, sorry, uh, we, here we want to find the velocity as a function of position. So we know that acceleration is equal change in velocity over change of time. And we know that velocity is change in position over change in time. We can solve for delta here, delta t here and delta t here and equal these two expressions. So delta t will equal to delta v over a and delta t in here will equal to delta s over v. So we will now equal these two expressions delta v over a equal to delta s over v and here we will use cross multiplication and that will give us what? v delta v equal to acceleration delta s so now we will take this right here so and we will integrate and we will uh, take integration both sides v delta v equal to the integration of acceleration delta s so here 0 to velocity v delta v equal to the position is from 0 and we want uh, we want s equal 10 acceleration is given 0 0.05 s plus 0 0.05 delta s so the, the the integration of this will be v squared divided by 2 equal to so this one will be what this one one will be 0 0.05 divided by 2 s squared plus 0 0.05 s from 0 to 10 so we can now say the v squared is equal to 2 times now we said that s as a fun, as a position uh, the position is 10 so it will be 0 0.05 divided by 2 times 10 squared plus 0 0.05 times 10 so v squared will equal to it will be 6 and so we can say that v as a position of function or 10 meter equal to so we'll take the square root it will give us 2.45 2.45 meter per second so this is our final answer the velocity when at a position of 10 meter is 2.45 meter per second